good morning <laughs> or good night or good evening or wherever you're watching this seriously though good morning y'all my name is susu i'm the one sule and i went from a fat loser to a d1 football player i'm about to show you how to do the same so today we're talking about the pillars of health you already know that if you clicked on this video so the five pillars of health i'm about to tell you what they are but before i do that i'm gonna tell y'all like well, why should you really care about the five pillars of health like wh who gives a fuck about being healthy i will tell you why it's important right now the reason why it's important is because when you're healthy when you get everything in check when your body on point your mind on point your spirit on point your social life on point when, when all aspects of your life are on point and healthy as in like vibrant abundant strong you can do anything it's quite simply put here's the thing here's the thing when your health is in check and we're mainly going to talk about like the social and the physical body in this video when your health is in check it doesn't matter you can be stripped of your money you can be stripped of your status you can be stripped of damn near your clothes your house you can lose everything but if internally you're still strong you're still healthy you're still just like mentally focused everything is clear up here there's nothing you can't come back from you can be you can be the lowest on the totem pole you can be absolutely broke down decrepit people might think that you're depressed people might think you're a loser but if internally you have that health you have that internal strength you can come back from anything to put it quite simply first pillar is training and i'm about to show you all my training so come on let's go it's currently what is it currently 5 25 a.m y'all i could not sleep i woke up at 4 30 and i was like fuck it let's get the video of the day started so y'all about to see the training i'm doing today none too crazy it's just um upper body calisthenics because as y'all know i'm on my rest week so i'm taking it easy this week but yo let's go the moment you transform from victim to participant you become the artist of your life Pro tip for y'all while y'all training. Don't work out with no headphones because when you work out with headphones, it really takes you out of the workout. So, no, no, I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> you all good, you all good. <laughs> when you work out without headphones, it really puts you into your body and you're better able to focus, like feel the contraction of the muscle, explode more, just use more of your power. On top of that, I like to keep a training log so I don't know if y'all can see. Like right there, I just track my workouts and whatnot. So whatever numbers I'm hitting, track that, write it down. So I always got a data back, a database that I can like go back in. And you know, I can see that I'm making progress over time. And then last but not least, don't drink no water. I don't like to drink no water while I work out. I feel like it slows me down. Like even during football practice, I would never drink water. I would go like two, three hours straight, no water. But I mean, on top of that, I also didn't trust the water, but yeah, those, those are just some little workout tips y'all can use if you just get in and working out. so we finished with the workout now so yo obviously i'm about to get into all the different health pillars of all five of them but i want you to think of it like almost like a pyramid okay think of it like a pyramid so at the bottom 
you know, like each, each, each layer builds on top of each other. So, so number one training. So training, <laughs> this is simple. This is like lifting three times a week. This is doing sprints or playing sports three times a week. And it don't matter the sport. It can be tennis. It can be basketball. It can be football doing drills for these sports, running sprints, jumping, just like I said, lifting weights, calisthenics, doing something that gets you moving, something that gets you active, gets the blood pumping. What this is going to do, obviously, is going to make you strong. It's going to raise testosterone. It's going to make your bones strong. Not to mention, it's going to make you look good. When you look good, you feel good, you perform good. Shout out Dion Primetime. <laughs> but on top of that, it builds discipline because no one wants to like, let's be real. Let's be real. Working out is hard. Like if you're actually training hard to the point where you can actually get results, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. But but it is oh so rewarding and it builds that discipline muscle because you're doing something that you don't inherently want to do no one really wakes up unless you're me and was like yeah i want to do some push-ups i'm not gonna lie if you're watching this channel then you probably do feel that way actually because you probably like you know a little insane and just love to work out like me but for the most part most people don't wake up and just immediately want to work out so if you can just wake up and get a workout in like immediately one of the first things you do in a day it, oh my god your discipline gonna be on 100 your health boom on 100 next is diet and when i'm talking about diet i'm talking about eating real food i'm talking about eating some beef i'm talking about eating some avocado i'm talking about eating some sauerkraut i'm talking about eating some dark chocolate this is three pounds of dark chocolate by the way yes i know i am insane but yo <laughs> seriously diet just comes down to eating real food foods that you can find in nature Beef, you can find this in nature. Avocado, you can find this in nature. Sauerkraut, you can find this in nature. And then, you know, you add some vinegar, you know, a little, a little some, I'm not going to lie. It's not like you're not going to completely find this in nature. And dark chocolate, this is just cacao, bro. Like, this is just cocoa. You can find that in nature. Let me close this. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate to y'all me eating the food. Y'all can go to my Instagram. Y'all can go to my Twitter at the one Sule if you want to do all that. But I say all this to say... You need to be eating real food. On top of that, you want to be fasting. As I've already said, there's so many benefits to fasting, intermittent fasting. HGH, human growth hormone goes up, you look more youthful. Testosterone goes up, BDNF, brain-derived neurotropic factor goes up. It becomes easier to focus. It becomes easier to lock in. Insulin goes down, meaning it becomes harder to gain fat. On top of that, you have more time. You get more discipline. Just a host of benefits. So there you have fasting. Try to eat. Start with intermittent fasting, you know, only eating from 12 to 8 p.m. And then gradually you can decrease your window. I'm on one meal a day. Y'all already know one meal a day gang over here. And I feel the best I've ever felt before. <sighs> yeah. On top of that, eliminate fake foods. Y'all already know, like stop going out to eat. Stop getting McDonald's. Stop getting Wendy's. All this food is filled with like just crazy ingredients that you can't even pronounce <clears throat> it's a bunch of refined carbs which inflame your body it's a bunch of seed oils which inflame your body and all these foods that inflame your body is what's causing disease it's what's making you fat essentially look i'm just <sighs> i'm just a messenger so pillar number three is going to be like your recovery this is going to be how well are you sleeping are you hitting the sauna are you meditating so this is pretty simple honestly here's my recommendation meditate at morning and at night Ideally, start if you've never meditated before, start with a minute. Do one minute of meditation in the morning. Do one minute of meditation at night. If you can't discipline yourself enough to do this and then gradually increase it over time, you're not going to make it. When it comes to sleep, just get enough sleep for what you need. Generally, for most people, this is going to be eight hours. Okay, so find a way that you can get eight hours of sleep, whether this means you got to cut off video games, whether this means that you, you know can't hang out with friends all night, whether this means you got to turn off the Netflix, whether this means you got to tell Shorty to go home. Find a way to get your sleep in because you need to be able to recharge and recover from all the good stuff you're doing. If you're training hard, if you're eating good, sleep is like just the key ingredient that just boom, just locks it in. On top of that, hit the sauna as well. The sauna just lowers cardiovascular disease, it lowers heart disease, not to mention it detoxifies your body, drains you of heavy metals and lowers inflammation. So go in there. Uh, ideally, what I like to do, I shoot for one hour a week and you can get this in however you like. So I like to just do one hour on one day. I'll do a couple rounds of like 20 to 30 minutes. You can also do different ways, like three days a week, 20 minutes, two days a week, 30 minutes, four days a week, 15 minutes. There's a lot of ways to, to chop the chicken or whatever. I don't know how it goes, chop, slice the pie. But there you have it. You need to be recovering because recovery is essential. Like I said, you see, so we got the whole pyramid getting built up. We got your training, 
we got your diet next we got your recovery it's all building up gradually next is going to be your community you need to have a strong social community and all this really comes down to is just making sure that you're living authentically and doing the things you love okay because when you're doing the things you love you're going to naturally just come into contact with people that are also doing the things you love and y'all are naturally going to gravitate towards each other because y'all have so much in common and y'all probably like even though y'all have like similar interests y'all still will have strengths and weaknesses that you know you have one strength that maybe they're weak in and that they have a strength that you're weak in and then y'all can you know help each other and grow with each other but on top of that you just got to be laughing you got to be hanging out with friends you got to be having a community you got to be laughing daily laughter truly is a medicine if y'all didn't know laughter is actually medicine so use it accordingly make sure that you're hanging out with friends if this is through video games then play video games there's nothing wrong with video games as long as you're like interacting with people don't just be playing video games like like mouth breathing that's that's not the way that is not a pillar of health brother no 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 so yeah make sure you have a community if your family is in town make sure you like see them at least like once a week or something like me i always go up i visit my grandma uh if i if i'm back home in arizona i'm like always with my family every day so just make sure that you have community because we're social creatures simply put you know you can do all the training you can eat good you can sleep good but if you don't have that community it's like something's really going to be missing from your life and you're also going to become a weirdo you're not going to know how to socialize so make sure you have a community make sure you have friends make sure you're laughing every day no matter how it is like for me a lot of my community is through sports a lot of it is also through school like when i first came to college we were all on the seventh floor, <laughs> the seventh floor of our dormitory, and we all just ended up still being friends. Of course, I don't see them as much because we have like different schedules, like they're in a Greek fraternity and me, I'm playing football. So we don't we don't always get to see each other. But when we do, it's like, you know, it's like day one. It's those day one homies. So just make sure you have a community, someone, people that you can fall back on and people that is just always going to love you no matter what unconditionally. Like when I was homeless, they took me in and housed me. So, you know, it's like. I would have been homeless if I didn't have a community like that. So, uh, you know, I love them boys. And pillar number five, honestly, you could have put this anywhere on the pyramid, but this is also very essential, is getting outside, getting in nature, getting sun. In fact, let me, let me just show y'all. Get outside and get in nature. Ideally, you want to be waking up. You want to be seeing the sun rise every morning. You want to be seeing the sunset. Just make sure you're outside. Like y'all see, I have all this green around me, all this stuff, and it really helps calm you down brings you back down to earth and if you ain't got like greenery around you move cities <laughs> no but seriously just find a way to find there's got to be somewhere in your city i refuse to believe that there's places where there's no green i refuse to believe that there's places where the sun does not shine if there's a will there's a way and if you're living somewhere that makes you miserable because there's no um there's no sun there's no trees or anything move i'm serious life is too short to be living somewhere that you don't enjoy because i'm telling you seeing this every morning it really makes life worth living so there you have it, y'all. Those are the five pillars. Wait, there's one more though. Purpose. Out of way till the sun came up. But y'all, living with purpose, seriously. When you live with purpose, you can wake up at any time of the day. Like no matter the circumstances you're in, no matter how bad things may seem, when you wake up and you know why you're here on this earth and you know why you're doing what you're doing and you have a real purpose, a real reasoning behind why you're doing what you're doing, there's nothing, there's nothing that you can't do. <laughs> There's no mountain too high, no valley too low, no river too wide. Like I'm, I ain't even trying to get all preachy, but seriously, find your purpose or define it for yourself and just start living with that daily and work to fulfill that purpose every day. And believe me, all this other health stuff, all the training, the diet, the recovery, getting outside, all the social life, you don't even need that. Cause as long as you got purpose, anything is possible. Anything is possible. Seriously, y'all a purpose live purposefully and with all that being said y'all got the five plus the bonus pillars of health training diet recovery social life getting outside and living with purpose and honestly the last one might be the most important you gotta live with purpose no matter what it is you gotta find it and you gotta live it but with all that being said my name is sue sue i'm the one sue lay thank you for watching this video don't forget to check me out on X at the one Sule. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram at the one Sule. And don't forget to go and get the athletic body program if you want to be aesthetic and athletic just in time for summer. Link in bio. With all that being said, stay up.
and stay blessed. I'm out. <laughs>